Good morning, it is, what time is it? I don't even know. 5.29. It's 5.29 in the AM. We're at an Ordax called To The Chapel. It basically goes to Skegness. We did it last year, so really excited to do it again. No, don't actually go to Skegness, is it? Well, it kind of goes to Skegness, but. To Chapel. Yeah, but it's near there, isn't it? I don't really know. Yeah. Basically, it's 300k. Uh, we got up at 4 a.m., so feeling nice and fresh. And I've got all the weight in my bag today because I'm doing all points north practice. So I've got my got my back bag on. I've got all the tools in. Car's carrying nothing. About so, time. Yeah. About Let's do this. Car's straight on the Did caffeine. You on the sugar. Get on the sugar. Right. <laughs> You're right. How much sugar are you having? I know. Look at him. Live on right. TV. Yeah. Live yeah, on TV. Yeah, yeah. Live on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I don't drink tea or coffee. I'm a bit of a weirdo. So you I, don't. That's no. nothing to do with the tea or coffee. I live off hot chocolate. Yeah. Hot chocolate. I live off in a chai latte, but I don't expect that. Probably. Thank you. That, so do you like a good banana? Oh, I love a bit of peanut butter. Oh no, I'm all right. Don't worry. Honestly, I'm just have a slice of jam. Slice of jam. Yeah, have a slice of jam. There's a lot of people getting here now. Penny's ready. She's got a uh, car put his bike on top of there. I can't even see it's so blooming dark, but it's quite a few people. I'm just really excited to do an Audax, to be honest. I love Audaxes. I'm a bit nervous. This will actually be our longest ride of the year so far. So it's 300k. Oh, it's, actually, it's actually a bit further than 300k because it's 195 miles, whereas I like to say Maloney. It's tricked us. I've got my plasters on to protect the blisters, so we'll be all right. And we are off. And within the first mile, my DI2 flashed up saying low battery. Yeah. Silly me. <laughs> 195 miles to do so. We'll see how long it lasts, and then I'll be riding in fix. Oh well, at least we'll see how many miles low battery goes on. Along we go. Currently riding as the three amigos. We've got me, we've got Kyle, we've got PJ. We've got a crosswind all the way, and then the wind changes direction. It's forecast a 20 mile an hour headwind all the way back. Very flat ride today. We're on just about to approach climb number two of four. So, <laughs> not all used to in the Peak District, we're heading where are we heading? East. I'm gonna work out my blooming compass in my head then. <laughs> We've done 30 Maloney's, we're at Control Point Numero Un, aka Newark. Kyle's gone around the back of the shop, the co-op, to uh, do a wee, and he sent me in to get him a snack. So, he wants a pepperami. Do you know what's a pepperami? I don't know what they are. Pepperami, no. Oh, gee whiz, why does he have to choose like the hardest thing to find? Oh, I'm just going to get him some chocolate, he can deal with it. What are you getting, PJ? All Coke. That's a good idea. Coke and a chocolate bar. Oh, God, I'm going to have to get Carl some crisps because I'll get him crisps and I'll get... Oh, but I'm going to have to turn the camera I can't make a decision. Hey, the crisps have gone back. I found a pepper army. Get a load of this bad boy. <laughs> He'll be happy now and I'll get him a scotch egg for later. He can put that in his back pocket. <laughs> He's got check in his back pocket. He's got his pepperoni on the go. Better get going. He wants to, he wants to go. I've had my cereal bar, so let's go. We've done 34 Maloney, so we've got 161 to go. A long, long way to go, but I love just going out and riding far. You're not on your own when you're on an Audax, so it's just the best feeling. If you're considering doing long distance, Audax is definitely a good place to start. And they start with like, they had, I think they even have some like 50k, maybe not. They have 100k's, then 200, 300, 400, 600, you know, the list goes on. But it's just so good and it's not a race. It's just take your time, just, just do the distance really. So I'm on the back wheel of these two lads, enjoying myself. I'm just riding along, just feeling so grateful to be out on my bike. This time last week we were on Pyru Bay and now we're back in England riding and it's just, I've, this is the third time I've done this Audax in 2023, no, 2022. I did it on my own. Last year I did it with Kyle and this year I'm here with Kyle again. And 2022 was like my first year of Audaxing. First proper year of starting cycling. And it's just mental. Like it's just crazy to think starting this YouTube channel. And here I am now. It's just like, what the hell? We've got some exciting stuff coming up this year that we planned ourselves. We've got a big charity ride in August. And I'm so grateful for cycling because if I think back to where I was in 2022, compared to what my mind is like now, I'm so much happier and I've got cycling to thank for that. And I've got my family, but I still struggle. And this week I've been a bit of a stress head, but I get out on my bike and the worries fade and you're just in nature and you look around and you think, just be grateful to be here. and what we've got. But when I'm on my bike, my mind just seems to settle. Like I can be so anxious about a ride and think I can't do it. But as soon as I start pedaling, 
I'm happy, I'm calm. And it just feels like everything's gonna be okay. And I just think if something goes wrong, you deal with it. I'm just looking around at all these lovely flowers. They look nice, but they cause me a whole load of havoc with hay fever, so they can back off. Look at that sky. And when I was struggling the most, I always found it really helpful to look up at the sky and think like, it sounds really weird, but like the sky's always there. It's always different every day, but it's always there and you're always under it and you're okay. And no matter what mistakes or what worries you've got, the world keeps turning and you are an important part of it. So yeah, no matter what your mind says, never give up because I never thought I'd be happy again. And here I am smiling, loving life. Not every day, but I try to. And yeah, I just hope that anyone else struggling can find their smile again. I didn't expect myself to say that today, but I'm neck, I'm dribbling now. <laughs> I'm just feeling so grateful. And thank you for everyone that watches, because honestly, if someone told me to start this YouTube channel and you'd be sponsored by Pinarello, I'd have told you to swivel on my middle finger, you're pulling my leg, but here we are. Yippee, woohoo! Little downhill. Nectar for the cod loins. Some other people call them the legs. Kyle's got his scotchy. Hey. You like that? Scotchy egg in the morning. Bit of protein. Get that down your gullet. Oh, it's grand. Is it nice? Oh, I don't know how you can eat that. It made me feel sick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Be careful doing that, Kyle. Come on. Oh, egg alert. His egg dropped out. His egg splattered on the road. He's got an empty scotch. Eggs are flying, loins are spinning. We're on an order. We're riding in the flatlands. It's flat as far as the eye can see. Hello, horses. Oh, we're basically doing a co tour of the co ops here. No, Next no. co op. We're at Woodall Spa, it's Control Point Numero 2. So Kyle's gone in to buy something, get us a receipt for our brevet. We've done 60 Malonies, so we've got 135 to go. Feeling good so far, but I'm not looking forward to when we turn around and have that headwind all the way back, but try not to think about that at the moment. I'm about breaking my tooth on this rice bar, for a minute. Look about chewy. Workout for my plumbing jaw, never mind my legs. Here we come. Hey. What have you got? I hmm. wanted a sausage roll, but they want the only multi-pack Oh, so what have you got? I'm not carrying a multi-pack, so I've got a pepper steak slice. My brevet. He's not doing too well in here. <laughs> that sweat. Martin, not in a wet. Uh, he gave you a. And no, he gave me a plastic wallet. I thought I didn't need it because I thought, oh, it's not going to rain. I didn't think about my sweat. So. You it's don't. actually wet. Look at that. It's disgusting. So I just fold it and put it in there. Put it in your flat. Or in there, yeah. I think it's going to get. Oh, Where's fine, the next man. control point? I think for a new car when you get back. Better, get, better check when my next control point. 35k. Burla Marsh. Burla Marsh. Or well, as Amy Marsh. called it last year, Burgla Marsh. Burgla Marsh. <laughs> um, right now, I'm a bit worried because I've got a new electrolyte in here. I've got my trusty one that I like in the other bottle. So let's do a taste test. It didn't tell you what flavour it was on the packet. So I'm not going to say the brand because I don't want to, if it's bad or if it's good. <laughs> no. What even? That isn't a flavour. If I had to describe that, it'd be bitter, like cat wee or something. Disgusting. Bitter cat wee. <laughs> oh, let me. Maybe it's not shaken up. Maybe I just got a bad. I can't have ever tried that. I can't drink this, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that tastes. <laughs> That's the cough, bro. Kyle, try that, honestly, please. No. no, please, I want to see your reaction. Seriously. No, really fast. Come on, try it, honestly. I'm not being over dramatic here. Just try it. Just taste that. It tastes weird. Have you put too much in a small bottle? No, I put one tablet in. Yeah, but it's a small bottle. Yeah, it said for 500 mil. You like it? Oh no, it's got an awful aftertaste. It's oh. horrible. Oh, it's like a stale aftertaste. It's horrible. Yeah, it's like stale breath. It's disgusting. Hey, we've got a bit of sunshine peeking through the clouds. Woohoo! It was nice to have a bit of warmth. It's about 15 degrees today. Practically tropical compared to what we've been used to recently. time last year Carl got a puncture here so let's hope we're not gonna have deja vu thank you very much we're at the top of climb number three of four of today Carl's having a nice wee with a view 
PJ had run halfway up and I'm doing okay. I'm going to hold my way until we get halfway, I think. Oh, you all right? Hey. Carl's had your idea to stop for a wee. Yeah, it's going to be time for the top of the hill then. To yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We're at the top, so it's time for the top of the hill dance. Hey. Who wee if I wasn't awake, I'd be awake now. Mignon. Tractor spreading it. Oh. We're at Control Point Numero 4. Uh, PJ's just carried on because he's using the good old new e breve but I like to stick to my paper breve the old fashioned way. So I need to come in here to get a receipt. Carl said, get him some sweets. So, what should I get him? I don't know what I'll get him. Some fizzies, and I'll get him. I'll get him two lots of fizzers. Only 70p each, not going to break the bank. We need two receipts, you see, so one each. We've done 83 Maloney's, so we've got 100 and. 12 miles to go. Blooming Nora, I've got car two packs of sweets. Old woman in there doing all blooming food shopping co op. And I was like, tick, 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 come on now, matey. Got a bit going. We're in the clock. Literally, then she was counting out her money. I was like, come on. I know it's not a race, but like, you just want to be standing there wasting time. Car was waiting out here. I could sense his anger. I could sense him waiting no for way. me. Chapel St. Leonard's, here we are to the chapel, as the name of the order says. We've done 90 miles. We're going to go and find somewhere to get some lunch. Fourth co op of the day. Was it the fifth co op? I'm a lost count. Carl's getting something from there. I'm going to go and get myself something a bit more substantial and then we'll be back on. We're going to go down to the beach, not the beach, the sea, and eat our dinner by the sea. Carl, keep your eye on that. We've got the bikes inside the co op here. They're very friendly about that. Oh, I'm just looking at the snap selection here. Might get some pasta. So I went for a pasta and Kai went for a sandwich. Now we want to go and eat it by the sea, which is literally just a two minute cycle. So I've strapped him on the back. I hope they're going to stay. On the other hand, I don't know how the hell Kai is going to cycle holding that. We can't in. cycle with that, Kyle. No, we have to walk. It's dangerous. Uh, no, Kyle, you'll fall off. Oh, no, no, you're not. I'm not happy about this. Kyle, seriously. Come on. You can't ride like Stop that. Put, put your twist in your back pocket at least. Hey, hey, we made it to the sea. Kyle had to walk up the hill with that, didn't you? He was sensible in the end. But. Well. Yeah. The sandwiches survived. Pop, we can see the sea. Did actually pop open. Oh dear. Well, it's alright. There's not going anywhere. Silly of you. Look at them doggies. Right, let's enjoy our lunch. This was once. Yeah. It was either the world or Europe's oh, biggest yeah. offshore wind farm. Was it? And this was built when I was a kid and I lived in Skegness. Oh yes. Oh God, so look, we're on the way back now, and it's headwind all the way back. Oh, you've done a mile and already jiggered. Oh, we now basically got a hundred miles of headwind, and it's not nice. We've only done three miles since the stop, and we're already knickknacked. This bodes well. Through Old Thirds we go. Another little place, historic mountain town, mountain, historic market town, not mountain town. Like we're gonna do, Lally. Mate Garmy, aka McGarmy's just told me we've done 100 miles, so 95 to go. We're over halfway, and that feels good. What doesn't feel good is this blooming headwind. Oh, burn, baby, burn. Sat behind this one, though, so you can't complain. Make him work, I've got all the weight in my bag. We've just had to have a wee pause, pardon the pun, we've both been for a wee. Well, I've just been, and these cars go in now, but it's right faff when you're a woman, you've got to take all your jersey off and everything. You can't just whip out your tallywhacker like Kyle can. But we are feeling it in the headwind, to be honest with you. So we've got a control about every 20 miles all the way back. So every control, we're going to have something to eat. We'll keep on going. I've been doing quite well with my eating. I've figured out that for me, every 30 miles is like a good time for me to eat something. But like on a long run like this every 20 miles. Kyle prefers to eat every hour, don't man, you? <laughs> yeah, you got to keep fueled up. Yeah, every hour works for you. Hey, for when me, a big man like me is going into that headwind, you need to keep mm. fueled. For me, I like every 30 miles is good for me, but something quite big, substantial, but yeah. Yeah, that does work quite well. Yeah. So I like to keep something substantial every 30 miles-ish, yeah. but then like a few sugary bits in between. Yeah. It just keeps your energy levels a little bit up. Keep your neck to it. The next control point. Hallelujah. We've got a spa instead of a co op. First different chop of the day. This milkshake, oh, it's like a kiss of heaven. Best milkshake ever. Mm. Carl's a bit jealous we didn't see these when he went in, did you? What did you end up with? I've got a yuzu. I actually prefer them ones. This is on. much better than a yuzu. What? Chocolate milkshake made with Belgian chocolate. Hey. Shake and order. I'll eat a cow fat at the minute because it's fuel. <laughs> Yeah, I'll eat anything at the minute. I've had a few flies, a bit of extra protein. Now I'm on to the creme de la creme of the snacks. Sweet potato chips. Chop up a sweet potato, put it in the microwave, whack a load of salt on. Great energy on a ride. You've got your carbs, you've got your salt. Mm. And it's yummy. Blaming Nora. Talk about headwind. Jeez. 
This is hard work. We're in the Lincolnshire Wolds, more like the Lincolnshire winds. So windy! Woo! Get me out of the blooming Wolds. We're now climbing up into a headwind and my DI2 is flashed up saying critical battery, so I'm trying not to change gear too much because I know at the end of this ride we've got a big climb back into Alfreton and I don't want to be stuck on one gear for that, so just pushing on up. <sighs> Windy then Kyle is after he's eaten a bunch of grass. 127 miles in, we're at control point number I've lost count, number co-op I've lost count, and I've got a nice hot chockey. I need it after those windy wolds, let me tell you. Oh, I'm wind beaten. You are right, Kyle? Yeah, I had to work hard in the wind there. He so. did. We found PJ and another fella over there as well, they're enjoying themselves, hello. <laughs> You've got a Magnum, that's the right choice. Oh, yeah, a bit jealous of that actually. I've got my hot chockey. Yeah, you got what you got, steak bake. Oh, that's nice, I need that. But my neck I'm going to turn into a chocolate by the end of this ride. We're on the PJ and Carb mobile. I think they're trying to send me to an early grave here. I'm going to 20 miles an hour into the headwind. Not what I planned on an order, that's because having some work done, that is. I need some work done after this ride, I tell you. So we're 155 miles down at the last control point. We're a lovely petrol station sat on the floor. You can't get much better than this. All three of us, this is PJ and Kyle's inside. All three of us got really excited when we saw the petrol station. Just shows, you know, what a crazy world this is with the Audax in life. But anyway, I've got myself a lovely little spread. Mango sorbet, they had a sorbet machine in there. So I was like, yes, get me that sweet nectar. Powerade, yeah. coke and a coffee. Blow me, don't you? I'm not sure what's going on with my hands, but they seem to have swollen up quite a lot. Like, I don't think I can get my wedding ring off right now. It never really happened to me before, so I don't know what is going on. My right hand seems to have swollen up, but they're both swollen up. But my right hand's more than my left, but that is not what my hand normally looks like. Peter, have you seen my hand? Blimey. I don't know why it's swollen really? like that. Why has it done that, Kyle? You're freaking ancient. It's a bit stressing me out actually. I won't worry about it. I, I reckon it's wrong. I wouldn't worry about it. Is it like all the fluids? Like the cobbles? It's not yeah. really cobbles. It looks a bit bruised around your wrist as well. Yeah. Your bracelet's a bit bruised. Oh, yeah, it's your watch too, oh, Tom. Yeah. No, I've already loosened my watch once today. But that's because my hand's swelling up. It's getting tighter. I reckon it's because of the cobbles, aren't We've got about 30 miles to go, aka a club ride. And it's Headwind and Hills home. Woo. It is hard, let me tell you. But. I'm still enjoying it. It's great to spend a day out on the bike, but this last bit, trying to kill me off. Oh, a little view, that's nice. Welcome to Grove, more like digging me a grave. Happy, woohoo! 20 miles to go, we're nearly there. It's whacking out the emergency uh, Kendall mint cake. See us to the end. It's nice, isn't it? It's from Wales, yeah, I love it. bit. Like in Wales, didn't we? On our Wales trip, thank you. On the home straight, we've got about eight miles to go. You right, Kyle? I'm ready for it. Kyle's knickered. I am. Kyle's knitting that paddy whack, get him a bone, or more likely a pie. Got your pie for tea tonight, Kyle. we are down that in one. About a mile to go, climb to finish us off. Really make us feel like we've earned it. Hallelujah! We're in Alfreton and the DI2 lasted to let me go into the little ring for the last hill. Alle to the loo. I don't know why Kyle's going. I think he died on the last hill. Oh, here he is. Here he is. You all right? Oh, we made it. We made it. Oh, thanks for the wind. Sorry about that. Didn't ask for that. Sorry about this. I fully appreciate that. <laughs> what time is it? Four to seven. Oh, that was good. We wanted to about by eight, so. Happy with that, guys. You right? Yeah, right, anytime. Right, so I filled out my brevet because, as usual, I didn't have a pen, so it's written all my times in. Ride debrief. Absolutely flew to Woodall, whatever it's called. No, not even Woodall. Chapel. Chapel. I'm actually knickered. Because we had a tailwind. Turn around, hit me in the face. Luckily, I had these two fellas. Thank you very much. More PJs in there. To sit on the back wheel on. <laughs> I feel a bit bad because I, I didn't go on the front, but. I think if I went on the front, I actually would have keeled over, so. Don't like me at the end. Yeah. But, I'm glad we did it. It was great. It was fun. What about we, what else? What else have we been doing on Saturday? So. Exactly. Right, so the stats are in. Before we do the stats, my swollen hands are here. I don't know what's what happened here, but I basically, my spindle fingers, so as Carl really normally calls them, turned into sausages, so. Yeah. I don't know what's happened. But anyway, we've got the stats, so. 
grand reveal. We did. Come on now. 195.5 Maloney's, or as other people call it, miles. That's over 300k actually. So much smaller, I think. 315. Thank you, PJ, for that quick math. Um, we went up 7,254 feet, so not too bad for distance. And we had our bums in the saddles, paddling our legs for 11 hours and 7 minutes and 37 seconds. Average speed of 17.6 miles an hour. I said to Carl at dinner last night, 15 mile an hour maximum because I want to rest and be sensible. It was restful on the way out. That went out the window. <laughs> you, you couldn't rest on the way back. Yeah. On the way if out, it was fine. We were flying along. Way out, way back, you, you when we got to halfway, we were averaging 19 miles an hour, and it was fine. I was like, oh. No, will be. Turn round. Oh, my neck. It was like pushing through. It was like wading through mud. Quicksand. <laughs> but makes you stronger. Yeah, now you need to. Roughly, yeah, two ounce of on you stronger. Just make you stronger. But thank you for the roots. Well, You're welcome. Well, I bet you had fun playing that, didn't you? Yeah, it was. Didn't get much. Quite a bit. bit like the <laughs> and it's going to change again. I'll see if I can find more wind for you next time. So we're just walking back to the van, aka Kyle's whip. Oh, goodness me, that wind really oh, did. Oh. Really did take the Michael. I thought, shine a light, get me home. That was a crappy word. Guys. The man in the co-op said, just get the train home. And to be honest, I was quite tempted, but I thought, no, I can't do that. I'd only do that if I was really on my last no, leg. No, 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 Kyle's perked up because I did, I've got him a nice pie in the freezer, but he's now decided he's getting fish and chips, yeah, haven't you? still have the pie. Can yeah, you can have the pie another night. I love pie. I've got a nice chickpea curry in the freezer, so I'm going to have that. But I do love mushy peas, so Kyle's going to get some mushy peas, aren't you? I'm really impressed that my DI2 managed to last, to be honest. I can't oh, believe, believe it lasted. Look, Basically, me, that means the DI, it's still not died either. So that means the DI2 has lasted uh, 950 miles, Kyle. Oh my goodness, look at my helmet line. What's going on there? This is how tired I am, right? First of all, I look like I've been through, dragged through a bush backwards. Yeah, I could be a bush baby right now. I just tried to put my seatbelt on. I tried to pull it out of there, thinking, why isn't it working? It's already blooming on. Ooh, I need some food and I need sleep. This poor man's going to drive back there. No, it's only, it's only 20 minutes. Ago. I did offer to drive, but. Did you? Well, you want me to drive away? <laughs> he doesn't like me. I can't anyway, I've got my cleats on. I can't drive you back in my cleats. Look at my hair. Look at the state of that. I've got developing wrinkles as well. Oh. Wind's aged me. Whack my chickpea curry in the microwave and I cannot wait to get that in my gullet. I've had a shower, I feel fresh and I feel wind beaten. But overall, it was a great day, so I'm really happy about that. Kyle, on the other hand. Kyle's very happy. I've been thinking about this most of the day. <laughs> gonna have, I've had chips from the chip shop. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have one of the beers that I got from Roubaix. Lovely. So, very happy with that. Would you like to say goodbye to everyone? Goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. TT to the FN. Goodbye.